Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy, a maths tutor from London. Today I'm going to teach you some math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the height of a triangle. Okay, so the height of a triangle, we always look for the, what's called the perpendicular height. It's, if you consider this length here of a triangle, the base, then we always look for what's called the perpendicular height. So that is the line that's perpendicular, or 90 degrees to this line, which reaches up to the height of your triangle. So it is not, for instance, the line between here and here. That's not the perpendicular height. The perpendicular height is the line that's perpendicular to this one that reaches to the height of the triangle. So it's that height there. That represents the height of the triangle. Now there's a number of ways to find the height of a triangle. The first way is you calculate, you can measure it with a ruler between there and there. And just ensure that your line here is at 90 degrees. Use a protractor. That's one way you can measure it using a ruler. The other way is to use trigonometry. So you can figure out this angle here. Let's say this angle here is 30 degrees. Again, you could either use a protractor or you could use trigonometry to find this one here. So if you know this length here is 30 degrees and this length here is say, you know this length, this length would be say 10. Okay, now using trigonometry at, sc at school they should teach you this. So, ka, toa. This means sine, cos and tan. This is using the trigonometry. So you can find this slight height here using a sine. So this length here, this height of the triangle, if you consider this triangle here, ignore this half here, just consider this right angle triangle here. And we know this length here, and we want to find this length. Let's call it O, let's call it the opposite length. So this is opposite the angle. So we need to use sine, because this length here is what's called the hypotenuse, the longest side of the triangle, of this right angle triangle here. The longest side is 10, that's the hypotenuse. So we know that sine of 30, using our SOCAR TOA, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is here, over hypotenuse, that's our 10. So we know that sine of 30 is zero, O divided by 10. So O is 10 times sine 30. You just multiply everything by 10 and the 10 comes up here. So O is 10 times sine 30. Now, if you put 30 into a calculator, sine 30 into a calculator, you're gonna get 0.5. That's one that I know from teaching math. So sine of 30 is 0.5. So opposite is your 10 times 0.5, which is five. So that means there, that length there is five. So that height of the triangle, using trigonometry, we know that length is five. And you can use that height of the triangle and the base of the triangle to figure out the area of it. And that's how to find the height of a triangle.